Hey guys, this is Johnny Zapeda with Powerhouse Racing. I want to make sure that we get this information out to you. Thank you for being patient with us. Uh, because the pool's closed uh, for a short time, we don't know when it may be open again. But we've also, uh, knowing that, we've seeded some strength training into your weekly workouts. This should be done anyway. And uh, there might be some questions about terminology whenever you open up your training plan and see that strength training. So what I want to do is kind of cover some terminology first, and then we'll go straight into the lower body workouts. Uh, all I'm going to do is demonstrate the movements so that you can play this back and see how, how it's done properly and how I modify these things depending on your environment. You may not have a gym, you may not be, uh, you know, have anything that you can work with, but there are some things that we can talk about on how to modify and how to uh, get yourself some good resistance training, if not just body weight. So the first thing is uh, AMRAPs. What are AMRAPs? Well, an AMRAP is as many reps as you can possibly do. Now, knowing that, uh, AMRAPs is also uh, intended for you to do those with proper form. Once your form breaks down, then that, that sets over. So you wanna make sure that you're doing them properly. When, you're, when your form starts to break down, you're done. So this isn't a contest, it's, a, it's about you uh, getting the most you can out of that short period of time. So the next is sets and reps. So the rep is how many movements you're doing within a set. That's pretty uh, self-explanatory. Uh, if you have any further questions, you can email your coach regarding that and terminology. Uh, so we're gonna go ahead and get started. Uh, the first movement we're gonna do is the dumbbell squats. I have some dumbbells right over here. It's not a lot of weight. Uh, I'd prefer that you guys uh, do the movement in advance to make sure that your knees aren't too creaky or your lower back isn't too stiff or anything like that. Um, knowing that, I highly recommend some type of warm up. Give yourself about 10 minutes, uh, maybe some jumping jacks. Maybe 30 seconds of jumping jacks would be good. Maybe three sets of those with a 30 second break in between, or even a light jog around the block or a quarter mile, something like that. Get your blood flowing, get your heart pumping, that kind of thing. Get your body warmed up before you start these movements. All right, first, first thing we're gonna do is gonna be lower body. So lower body is considered from hips down. Um, that's a big focus of ours because that's what we do. Everything's on this driving motion. So we wanna make sure that we work our powerhouse, all right? Quick note about myself, I have an injury from the hip years ago in my left toe. So if you see me wobble a little bit, a little crooked, that's, uh, that's how God made me. So that's where I'm at right now with my current fitness. So let's get started. I've got two dumbbells here. If you don't have any dumbbells, that's fine. You can use some water jugs. The water jugs are too heavy. You can also uh, pour some of the water out, drink it down like the CrossFit guys. That would be really cool. Okay, the first movement is the dumbbell squat. Dumbbell squat, you wanna hinge back into your, into your dumbbell and let the dumbbells come down. You wanna get, get just past 90 and then bring it right back up to the top. I have this bench here, a good way to do that is if you're not sure how deep you can go, come down until your butt taps the bench and then right back to your starting position, okay? One more time, dumbbells in hand, choose your own weight, as long as you can uh, complete the sets, proper amount of weight, that's the weight you want to start with. We're going to go down, tap, and then back up. From the front, shoulder width apart, dumbbells at my side. I'm going to reach down into my squat and then right back up to your standing position. After, whenever you get to full extension, hip eyes turn out. Okay, there's another uh, terminology thing that I want to bring up. It's called concentric and eccentric motion. What does that mean? Um, concentric is the tightening up the muscle. So I can demonstrate it really quickly in an arm curl. So right now I'm, I'm, I'm contracting my muscle and then eccentric, I'm dropping it down. So back to terminology, there's a question on cadence. How long should that take? One to two seconds up, three to five seconds down. Okay, sorry, but I missed that in uh, the explanation of the terminology, but there you go. That's concentric and eccentric motion and uh, your cadence with your workout. Okay, so remember, uh, remember to do that. Dumbbell lunges, all right. First thing we're gonna do is we're gonna step forward, bring the opposite knee down, tap, you don't have to tap, just bring it down and then back up at first and then step back. 
Pops the leg, goes out, down, and then back up to your starting position. All right, real simple. Forward lunges. You can do these one leg at a time, or you can pulse. However you like to do it, make sure that you get both sides equally. Dumbbell setups, step ups. We've got these benches here. We're going to do these. Um, make sure it's safe. You don't want to step up on something that's too high. Highly recommend doing it without dumbbells first. Something high enough should be just below your knees. All right, that's a good place to start. Step up, uh, contract the quads and the glutes, drive up, step back, and back down. All right, this is a step up. The dumbbells. Just gonna keep them at your side, step up, tap, step down. All right, you can do, I think it says, you can alternate or do one leg at a time. However you like, just keep moving. Go through your sets. Uh, I believe it's three, 12 or 15 reps. Uh, hip thrusts, hip bridges. We do those a lot in my class. Basically it's a hip bridge. Uh, back is flat on the ground, have just enough space underneath the small of your back. Feet are underneath. This. Feet are underneath the knee. You're gonna bridge up, squeeze your glutes at the top of the movement, let your butt come down, tap the mat, and drive it right back up. It says dumbbell assisted or barbell assisted. Disregard that. Uh, we're gonna pretend like we don't have any equipment to work with, okay? Let's go uh, this route first. All right. Next movement. Um, deadlift. All right. We don't. I don't have an Olympic bar at the house. At the apartment, you can do this with a uh, broomstick or dumbbells or your water jugs. Basically, you're going to hinge back. Hinge back. Once again, keep the dumbbells in front of you, and then drive it right back to your starting position. Don't overextend. Just bring it to here to your starting position and then back down here. All right, remember, we didn't start here, so we're not gonna end there. We're gonna end right here. Shoulders over your hips and then right back down into another one. That's a dumbbell deadlift. Feet are shoulder width apart. Dumbbells go down in front, back to your starting position. Right here, good. Barbell back squat, okay? I'm gonna demonstrate this with a uh, stick, you can do this uh, if you have a barbell or dumbbells as well. The dumbbells, you just put them right here at your shoulders. And you're just going to bring it down into a squat and then right back up to the top. The stick, borrowed this from Nicole and Teller. Uh, hands are about just past shoulder width, feet are shoulder width apart. Knees turn out just slightly. Start your hinge, hinge back, and then drop it down to the squat, bring it right back to the top. Once again, you don't want to roll your back. Start with your hinge, hinge back, butt back. Back to the butt, back to the bench, and then right back to starting. Okay, a lot of the same movements, but if you have uh, different opportunities and some different weights, you can kind of mix it up a little bit. Uh, barbell lunges, back to the barbells again, or the dumbbells, dumbbells or barbells, the, uh, step out squat, then back, step out squat, back. If you're doing the barbell, go back to your bar, one, and then back, and forward, and then back. Pretty easy when you just got a broomstick, so feel really good about that. Last one is the Bulgarian dumbbell Bulgarian squat. What the heck is that? All right, so I got my bench here. Basically, what I'm going to do is we're going to demonstrate this without the dumbbells and then with the dumbbells. All right, get into your eye shot here. Basically, you're resting your feet. You can uh, uh, use a wall to assist you. Move the foot forward where you're comfortable. Basically, it's the same thing. It's a little deeper, a little bit more of assistance, okay? Drive out through the glutes. I always like to use my hands like I'm running because uh, I'm always working on that plane of movement. Always, always. 
from the down and then up. If your foot goes, uh, if your knee goes over your foot too far, then you're engaging more in your quad. The foot's out, you go straight down in your lunge, using more of the glute. So just make sure that you're doing them correctly. Do it again with the dumbbells. Do them without dumbbells first, and then modify to dumbbells. Here we go. Down, up. Down, up. Keep good form. Don't hinge into it. We're not. We're not practicing this. We're keeping our form good. Hip eyes out. Dropping it down. And then back up. All right, that's the Bulgarian dumbbell squat. Next is the sumo deadlifts. Deadlifts exactly the same as before. I'll do this with the stick. Feet are shoulder width apart, hands are just past your hips. But now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna turn my toes out. I'm gonna isolate the abductors. Step out a little further, you're gonna bring it down. Stick goes out in front of your knees and then bring it right back to standing. All right, down and up. Pretty simple. Jumping squats. These are more of plyometric, your own body weight kind of stuff. You'll see those in your workout though. You're gonna go take it down into a squat and then jump and back down to a squat. Jump, back down to a squat and jump. Don't go down too far, or you can go straight into your next set and just pop up and then down, up and then down, up and then down, up and then down. If you get too tired, squat, jump, stop, squat again, jump, squat again, jump. Makes sense? Good. Skater jumps. You might see me doing these as a warm up before our races. It's real simple. Arms go out. Just skipping forward. Good thing to get your heart rate going. You see, I'm starting to get out of breath. Forward motion right here. Doesn't have to be too crazy. We're just getting the heart pumping. Some good stuff. Next is some more plyometrics. There's some jump squats, skater jumps, broad jumps, and scissor jumps with the dumbbells in your plant. I want you to avoid those with dumbbells at first. And if you would like, you can add the dumbbells, but be very careful that you're doing these movements properly. All right, skater jumps. We just did those. Boom, it's right here. All right, nice and steady. Broad jumps, we jump to you. That's a broad jump. Bring it back, jump it to you. All right, always land in a squat. It's gonna look like this. All right, pretty good. Next is a scissor jump. So I'm gonna spring up, my legs are gonna cross, then I'm gonna land. All right, pretty cool. I feel like Batman now. That's it for lower body. We're gonna click stop and then we're gonna go to upper body. Good job, guys.